So now that you're like out there, though, like, are you finding it easier or is it a preference to date other people who are also divorced? I do prefer to meet somebody who has already been married or or even has like a kids already because mm. I'm not, you know, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm not interested in having children and I don't want to meet somebody who is just at the cusp and wants to. And right. so, so I like that. I, I also like somebody who knows what that's like, knows. Yeah. Yeah. I also kind of like when people are still like, unless it was an abusive relationship, right? like don't have horrible things to say about their, if, I mean, if the guy was horrible, yeah, say it. But I, I, I've been on many dates where it was like, I, this one, she was so beautiful. Like, honestly, it was like, it was like, I was so excited, kind of funny and sarcastic. And we went out and the whole thing, she was just like, we're talking and she was just like, one person after the other oh, had no. fucked her over. Yeah. And it was like mm. 10 people. And I kept thinking, wow, it might be you. And I said, <laughs> I'm going to be on this list. Like, I just had that sense. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, <laughs> but then you got to make sure you're not that guy. Yeah, no, but there's no way to avoid being that guy. What do you mean? Yeah. Don't do shitty things. I wasn't, but I don't know that all those guys <laughs> did shitty things. I don't know. I mean, she, it, some of them sounded vaguely like, I get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pattern yeah. after yeah, a while. Yeah. Uh, I dated, um, uh, she knows the story a little bit, but I was dating this guy that we call on the podcast, Bruce Lee, um, uh, just because he was some like four time, you know, Taekwondo, whatever. I don't know what those things uh, yeah. are. Martial arts guy. Fights. And, um, uh, and our first date, he was like, um, I'm divorced with rage issues. And I was, and I was so dumb and young. I was like, oh, he's being honest with me. <laughs> Yeah, not, and, not a confession. Like, I not, might hit you. Exactly, <laughs> right, right. exactly. And oh my gosh, it was, uh, he. I, I never saw the rage part, but the divorce part, it was very interesting because he was still very triggered Attached. by it. And oh, so wow. he could not be in a relationship no, because not. he had so much fear around fucking up again. Mm. And he didn't do, I was like, did you do something to her? And it was mm. like, no, but he just fell out of love. And mm. he was just so scared of falling out of love that he was just our relationship up right. over and over. And I was just like, dude, you gotta, I'm not even trying to marry you. I was like, just, yeah. can we just enjoy some time? But just so many uh, triggers that um, eventually, yeah, it, it would turn out to be a very toxic thing. Well, people are uh, like, I, I always say like, if you're having like the best version of the person you're dating, is that in those, like you are seeing that's the person. So and, and so if you, that is the best. That's like, that's all, they're trying to hide everything terrible. <laughs> so if it, the terrible stuff is coming out, it's really there. Like yeah. you can't hide that you're a racist in my first date. <laughs> God knows what you have. Like there, is there Nazi paraphernalia in your room? Right. So, so it dropped, yeah, it's like, I don't know. For, it was. The, the, it's like, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> but you will be surprised. I uh, have said this on the podcast many times. I truly believe you know the exact problem in your relationship on date one or within the first week. Mm. And usually because people are always dropping clues about themselves. Because yes. mm. they want to warn you. But they're not trying to like explicitly warn you. Like this guy yeah. didn't say, hey, I, I, I'm divorced with rage issues. Like, it, warning. He was just like in conversation, like, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah I've been divorced before. And then, da, 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 and then yeah, rage issues. And mm -hmm. you're like, but you know, when you're in it, you're not listening. You're just, you're, you're construing it in whatever way you want, but it's really somebody giving you a clue. When I used to not be available, yeah. I always told people I'm really busy. I'm a really oh, yeah. busy person. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's a way of me. I didn't know that that was me subconsciously telling them, I can't hang out all the time. Right. If you're trying to like. For sure. But I think if you said, I'm like, if you told that to I would hear that. It's so weird how people don't hear those little hints. No. But that's the thing is yeah. most of us don't hear the hints. Yeah. We just are, are using it as justification for people's behavior. But I the know. truth is, if I were really into somebody, right. I would probably make time. Mm -hmm. that, well, I, yeah, I, I've said this. I said I had this conversation with my ex with somebody. It's like, yeah, if he's like, I, you, you know when someone's into you. It's like, that's like not. If like I want to see somebody, I'm going to be like, Texting them. I'm going to be literally that in their bushes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be, you know, <laughs> you know, 
No, I hired a detective. I'm doing all of them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're like, I'm tracking her. Yes, uh, exactly. I, I put the location on her yeah. iPhone. Right. Yeah. I've, I've hacked into it. Especially in the beginning, it should not be hard. It's just yeah. comfortable yeah. and easy and fun. Mm-hmm. What, what do you think you learned from your divorce that you carry into new relationships? Um, honesty or, and, 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 and trying to like be clear with what I'm feeling and mm. not my instinct. I'm the oldest. I have two younger kids, um, sisters, but, and my parents were like, you know, a thing. And so I was like, I was always a peacemaker and I like making people, I liked calm yeah. and I like making people, I'm partly funny because I can distract you and make you, oh, look over here and everything's calm yep. and then I can be calm. So as a people pleaser, I extracted that to dates and I wasn't always honest about how I felt. And then when they sort of liked and came to come to expect, anybody comes to expect that from me, like, oh, where it's constant crying on my shoulders, I resent them. I resent them for the invitation I've given them to do it. So I'm, I guess I'm trying to, um, yeah, I'm just trying to be like more upfront. This is not where I'm at right now. And, yep. um, and I'm not feeling it. Um, and I don't always really succeed with that, but at least I'm doing it better. I empathize with that a lot Same because, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I grew up in a, a home that was very dysfunctional. There was a lot of fighting all the time. So because of that, I was always yeah. preferred to be peacemaker and and then, you know, didn't like conflict, didn't express myself because yeah. I just didn't want to ruffle any feathers, really. And, and as a result, though, for me, as maybe it was just, you know, a female yeah. thing, but I got taken advantage of a lot because mm-hmm. I was much more like… Yeah just easygoing oh. and like, hey, I don't want, you know, want to create any problems kind of thing. Yep. And so I never really told people how I felt. And and then, thank God for therapy, mm-hmm. um, they taught me a lot about like boundaries and expressing myself. Yeah. And, and so now, and then I went the other way. So, you know, in the beginning when you don't know how to express yourself, you're like angry about how you express. Yeah. I'm like, don't fucking ever do that to me. And then I learned like, oh wait, I don't have to go there. Yeah. I can now just say, you know, in a calm way, like, oh, you know, that actually I make it a joke, but I, I yeah. tell but every guy. Yeah. I now usually tell everybody, I'm like, I don't want to be your therapist. I'm not here to be your wife. I'm not here to be your uh, your oh, counselor. Wow. not here to be your yeah. best mm-hmm. friend. And I'm always like, I just want to be your girlfriend. Yeah. So, oh, uh, wow. and you know, you can say that in like mm-hmm. a calm, nice well, way. Yeah. And, I tried this with somebody and it did not go over well, uh, but I'm, it was better than continuing on. But it was like, there was a lot of things that, that were this woman this woman needed like help with this thing and I was happy to help her there and then this and then oh god this and it was like several and we were only going out we only went out like six or seven dates and I just and finally I just said wow you know I already have children <laughs> and um <laughs> and just you know and you know they're they're you know they're moving out and I'm just like I don't yeah. want to replace them that's fine I was like oh, thank god they're out of the house um but that's enough yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, even with the gleam in my eye, I was like, yeah. I even I said, but she got the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. 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 So, yeah sometimes people do need to hear that they are acting like children. It's weird after, uh, you know, think it's just weird like after like, it's after like four dates and somebody's saying, yeah, I, like they had an issue that, well, it did, it sounded crazy, but it's like, yeah, I just, I, I need like $15,000. Like after four dates, oh, that she wasn't asking me for, oh, okay. but she kept bringing up the number. Like I was supposed to respond to that. I and that was her trying to get it. it yeah. yeah. <laughs> I and know it was like, was. I, yeah, it was like, oh, well, yeah. It was, you know, it was like. Definitely. Yeah. My last name is Zucker, which means sugar. So I think some people think that. Oh, you know, that's that can, so funny. I mean, at, inadvertent. Right. <laughs> Zucker. Oh, wait, Z- Zucker or Zucker? But it Zucker. Does, okay. there's no, I mean, it, I pronounce it Zucker, so no one puts the C in there. Mm-hmm. Someone left the C off, so half my family is Zucker, half my Zucker, yeah, but right. none of us have the C. But once I started having it printed, the name, I was I doing stand up, and Zucker, Z U K, and they still get it wrong. Yeah. So put a C in there. Right. Fascinating story. You can <laughs> well, Zucker daddy. Yeah. I, yeah, I was a total Zucker daddy. daddy. Like, I'm a generous boyfriend, but I'm a terrible sugar daddy. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be yeah, anybody's like, sugar daddy. But I'm daddy. like, oh, no, you, you're you not going to pay for a thing when we're together. Right. But, uh, yeah. But I, it's unlikely I'm going to, you know, make your car payments. Right. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think you should. be known. Yeah. Because that's yeah. a whole nother. I mean, unless you're super high. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video and check out our next one. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to this channel for more amazing dating, love, and relationship advice from me and so many expert guests. Follow us on socials. We're at Kind of Dating across the board. I'm Natasha Chindale, so you can find me too if you like. And join our newsletter on www.kindadating.com for lots of exclusives. See you soon.